Testing, 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 testing. All right, we went live earlier. Yeah. All right, let me get the microphone. Microphone check. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Rolando. Let's see if I can find the microphone. Let me get a microphone. If I can find one. I know I got one. The question is, where is it? Where the heck is it? Alright, microphone. Where are you? Microphone. I can't find my microphone. Benito. I'm a little earlier. We're just checking to see if it was going to connect or not. So I started doing a couple things already around the tank. But I'm trying to look for the microphone. That way if I'm far away, you guys can hear me good. And don't mind that fire alarm beep, man. That shit's driving me crazy. Already. I'll be right back. Let me check one more spot to see if I can find the microphone. Check. I guess we are without a microphone. Man, where's my microphone? Chai Town, Fredito. <laughs> que hay, que hay, que hay. Ya yo empecé. I already started messing around with the tank because I didn't do nothing yesterday or the day before when it comes to siphon the detritus in the back of the tank. So, I had to start earlier. I did remove a coral. I did add a, a piece of rock just to complete a little um, piece that I didn't like or a space that I didn't like. But here we are. Please don't mind that fire alarm. It's going to drive you crazy just like it's driving me crazy. So let me give it one more shot to see if I can find the microphone. That way I don't have to scream. Where can it be? I don't think. Nice, nice. Vite. Yeah, some people don't believe that that work, bro. Like with any algae, any algae in the tank, just like a, like anything in the tank, just stress it out. Don't let it settle. Don't let it settle. You stress it, you stress it, you bother it, and then end up going to die. Like, like. Nice. Alegro, brother, alegro. And I can find the microphone. Come on, microphone. Well, I guess I'm going to have to scream when I'm far away, so. Nice, nice. Malegro, brother. That's good, that's good. What's going on, Chaitan? How's everything? Everything good, my brother? 
Yeah, you know, I just decided to go live. Um, I saw a rich girl post that she's on the moving plans and all that, and she's not gonna do live, I guess, for now. That's that's my understanding. Until she set a place where she could do the live stream. So without her permission, I say, you know what? I got you. I I'm gonna try do it every Saturday while she's out, and you know, just give you guys the same thing always. You know, my. My water change that I'm doing every day, every Saturday. That way you guys get to see me doing the usual that I do to the tank on Saturdays. So, you know, nothing that you guys don't do to yours, so. But I'm glad you guys are here, so let me grab that water. But I'm looking for the microphone, man, so I don't have to scream. I'm checking around here, checking, checking around here. Oh, oh, what's this? Nope, false alarm. This is the headphone. Microphone, where are you? I got a nice microphone and it's nowhere to be found. And that happened the other day with my glasses too. For real, still dealing with phosphates? Why why you think it's causing it? Too much bio low, a lot of um, feeding, doing too much feeding. Mr. DKH, what's going on, my brother? Damn, I wish I could find the microphone, man. It will be way easier because I was listening to the stream last time, and when I'm far away, you guys barely can hear me. Well, I couldn't hear myself while I was watching my own stream. You got to be bored to watch your own stream, you know, but exactly. I was bored. Haha, <laughs> the master, nah, man. I'm far from that, brother. Far from that. So here we are, brother, doing what I usually do to the tank. I usually do it earlier, but since I didn't have nothing to talk about, like always, I never got nothing to talk about. So I said, you know what, let me move the water change. Later for the night, uh, I got to do, uh, what is it? I got to clean the detritus and do all those things. I already take care of the glass um, and the 40. Now I'm just, I was just um, blowing the rocks. So all that nesting and get out of there. I did move some corals around. Some in the in Dave tank, they still piss. I moved the big, uh, what is it, hammer? I put it next to the frog spawn, so soon they feel happy and they forgive what I did, you know? Forgive me for moving them from one tank to the other. Oh, for real, the rocks. How can you join, bro? You know that better than me, man. I'm not a no computer geek. I don't know, like, like I don't wanna mess with this and then shut the screen, the, the stream, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Roll call, roll call. Let me see. I'm gonna hit some buttons. So let me see. Uh, remote control, multi stream. There we go. Multi stream. Let's see. If I hit that, what's gonna happen? Screen capture. T40, my brother. I don't want to hit multi. Well, I'm gonna hit multi stream. If I get out from the live, I come back. But I don't know what it's gonna do. Boom. Our destination, multi stream allow you to stream multiple platforms. Oh no, that's something else. Yeah, man, I don't know how, how to put more people into the stream, bro. My fault, you should have let me know and you would have went live and I would have joined with you. And, and, and you know, Benito live stream. Let me see if I, uh, let me grab the water. Let me just, I'm gonna I'm go a little far away with the cam and then I'm gonna grab the water so I'm almost set up with everything I need I just gotta grab the water and we ready one second
You know what? I miss my mixing station, man. It was right next to the tank. I didn't have to walk with five gallon buckets no more. Oh. I had a long day at work today. They beat me up at work, so. What email, bro? Like, bro, you, uh, why you asking me right now is to shut down the, the, the stream because I don't know how to do that, bro. I don't know, bro. My fault, bro. I don't know how to do that, Benny. Next time you, we, we do a testing one and, and then we go from there. That way we do it ahead of time. Right now, I think it's a little too late. We got people here, bro. Yeah, I need a new tripod. This tripod is all messed up. So, the usual, I shut the pump, shut the skimmer, shut the windmakers, and let's get some water out. My cipher, you know what? Should I siphon that? No, I'm gonna do that after. Let me grab my cuppy cup. So this week just passed, I received my, my RLDI system replacement. I bought that RLDI system, I, I think about six years ago. And all I changed in those six years was the the DI resin, the sediment filter, and the carbon thing. I never changed the main brain, never changed the other one. So, if my tank crash, God forbid, it was because I changed everything on it and put everything new. So I'm just waiting on the DI resin. And once I get that DI resin, then it's gonna be like sparkling new. So we'll see what happened. But after six years, still not reading TDS. I don't know if it's the water is so clean around here or what the heck is going on. But in those six years, no TDS reading. I think that the highest it went one time when the DI resin was getting bad, it was about, I think, one or two, something like that. So, yep. Yep, yep. So let's do some water changing. All right. Pump off. Skimmer off. And weight makers off. So I ain't gonna do it today, but I, I also gotta clean my power head is this month. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow I'm gonna do that tomorrow, but that's gonna take a lot more time since I gotta put on vinegar. Uh, yeah, I do that tomorrow. Careful, fifties. Oh. Easy peasy. I still got my clown in the sump. I'm probably gonna bring it up now that I do everything I gotta do. I use this water. The water that I'm changing, I use it to clean the sponges, give it a good rinse. I gotta clean some detritus in the filter cup section. So I'm gonna try to do that too. And we be Gucci. I gotta fill up my RODI, it's almost empty. Also I gotta clean it because I used to have a pump in there. Now it's, it's still in there, but it's not, I, I don't have it on. Since I'm adding more Cut water to the our water. So now it's collecting dust in the bottom. So yeah, everything been good though. Everything been good. Everything's growing, coloring nicely. Just minor changes that I did. That's it, just little tiny ones. But things are looking goody. Things are looking goody. 
Yo, Benny, let let's try reefer know that we live. Family just got here. Things about to go loud. All right, let me not forget that I'm doing a water change. Because it's filling up quick. salinity too. I've been running for 1.025. I want to go to 1.026. So we'll see. Because somehow, this salt, depend how you mix it, how low, how high, is it's going to be a salinity too. I don't know if that's how it works, but I guess that's how it works. Forgot to put a heater on the water. It's cold. Yeah. Alright. I think I can lift that bucket already. Alright. And the rest. See, that's how you do it. Clocks, what's going on, my brother? I know, bro. I haven't tested mine. Mine's still in the water, but I got it. I got a spare one to see. Temperature be staying at seventy six for now, so that's that's not bad. I like it here. The punishment is over. So now, I'm going to turn on the power head so everything in there starts mixing nicely. Wow. 
好啦。Nice. Alright. Before the pump come on, and get this punch out of here. Let me, let me, let me bring the camera down. Let me see if I can bring you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, man, I like mine again. Seven seventy six. That's that's for me the the best um, temperature, and corals love it too. Sponge. This is good now. I'll put it here for now so the bacteria stay on the water. And then let's pick up that detritus. Alright, so you guys can see how much detritus is in the um, filter cups.
cow. Why I did that? It's a lot. That's a lot of detritus in there. I gotta come up with a better solution. You doing water change too? Chip the reefer. What's going on, my brother? Sorry. I was down in the hood, down the hood. So, couldn't see you, my bro. Doing a little bit of sump cleaning, water change already done. I, I, I wish, right? Streamlab, when somebody put a message, it could read it to you. That'd be fire. Watch somebody come up with the idea now. Rainer, what's going on? All right, let me, let me go back. So. Right now I can rest that there. I gotta do something else. I'll be right back. I need a brush. Brush, brush. hate when you put something somewhere and there's nowhere to be found when you need it. Now everything I used to clean the tank, now I can't find it. I got a nice brush. And I don't know where it's at. Got it. All right. With this brush, I clean the glass. Okay. A little 
little better now. Filthy cups back in place. That's that. Okay, next. Knife filter floss, cheap, warmer. We'll put a little bit at the beginning until I finish cleaning the top. I still got to siphon all that detritus on top. <laughs> Yo, that happened to my glasses the other day, right? I had a guy that came here and right after he left my glasses disappear those billy pipes glasses over there um they disappear and i couldn't find them so my boy told me watch why are you gonna find them benny told me straight reefer told me and i was already blaming the guy because he free reefer he wanted everything for free so i said you know why he took them <laughs> he took them and nope he uh when was it? Today, I think. No, yesterday, I think it was. I was watching a movie, laying on the couch. And there you go. The glasses appear out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. You know how it is, man. When it comes to the tank, I love working on the tank. I don't mind. Right now, yeah, you know, it's, it's a little struggle to work around the filter cups, but it's all good. It gets better one day. When you when we can, you know, like buy that tank, your dream tank. Oh, return pump is on. Not yet. Not yet. What are you doing? The day that we can buy our dream tank, that everything is easy access. You know, no struggling. Well, it is what it is right now. So that section is clean. Let's clean this too. Get all that nasty in it from there. Still got one more trick under my sleeve. One more. So boom. That section is clean. Now this one. It's coming over here. hate carrying buckets with passion. I miss my, my salt water mixing station. It was easier than this now. All right, so I got a lot of the traders collected back there. So now I'm gonna do this. And 
Hey. Boom. Right there. Return pump on. Now we're good. When I finish, I'm gonna show you guys the little changes that I did. It's no, no, nothing big. Just a little tiny one. No, I killed my crab. Psych. But look how cool is this. Hold on, let me wipe my hand. You guys see this? My crab multi. This is my pom pom crab shell. Let's see, focus, focus. I don't want to focus. He molted. That's cool. I thought I thought it died, but it just molted the the shell. I saw him. So, boop. All right, let's continue. So what I'm doing now is something that I always do. I got this little brush here and I'm just brushing the rocks, you know, that way anything that is trying to get settled on the rocks, boom, they go down. So, but they really clean because nothing is coming off the rock, so that's good. I don't have to do much, too much. Not today. Not today, today. 
Yeah, everything is Gucci. So while that, while that is still siphoning, where is that turkey baster? Come on, oh, right here. So we're blowing in the rocks. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if you ever want to polish your water, this is the best DIY water polisher that is out there in the market. You could get it at your own where they got maxi jet. That's what it is, a maxi jet with a water bottle and some polish. I mean, you know what I mean. Put that there. Oh, 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 no good. Come on, man. Don't do that. That way you polish the water at the same time, you know? It makes the water change or the polish the water way faster. Boop. And we are live. Hold on, I was over here. Nothing is coming off the rocks. The simple well reefing. Ah, uh, you see? That was a lie, huh? Very simple. Oops. Uh, 
Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good, good. So now I'm just gonna leave that there for a little bit. Let it polish the water a little bit. Yo, if I haven't seen any, uh, you know, everybody, so hello. We're here doing water change. It's all my fault. If I didn't say hi. In a minute, I'm about to shut up the light. And then we're gonna feed the corals. I gotta catch that fish in the sump too. I'm gonna put them back in the display and let the white ones deal with it. If at the end I gotta get the white ones and move them, and move them to the nano, then we'll see what we do. We'll see. I'm still debating. But he's been there already, what? Two weeks now? Hopefully he learned his lesson. Stray reefer. So, yeah. So now all I got to do is get a, a chair. Cause my back is killing me. So now all we gotta do now is just wait a little bit. Then I feed the corals. I like to feed them. Hey, hey, hey. They bothering my barnacle blending. Stop it. Rarely that fish get out of his home. And he just came out. But yeah, so when I do water change, I like to feed the corals right away too. Because, you know, you remove nitrates and phosphates out of the water. I mean, I think my nitrates and phosphates being in zero. Um, I don't mind having them there, you know, as long as things look good, I don't mind them being a zero. So I'm going to show you guys the little changes that I did. It's not much changes, crazy changes, but I did some. And one is here, I remove the hammer I had there. So I got him here, he's pissed right now. We're going to give it some time. Of course, the frog spawn is pissed too because I touched the rock. And it's all messed up now. So, But we're going to give it time. And I know once they open, just picture it. It's going to look good. I got the Ghanis here too. Some of you guys already know that I moved them over here. Um, they used to be in this rock here. So they're not there no more. I'm still debating what I'm going to do with that rock. But in the meantime, that's where it's going to stay. It has my bounce mushroom attached to it. So the mushroom is attached to the tile and to the rock. So I don't know what to do yet. But my plan is grab the rock and put some SPS frags there and let them grow. See how it's going to look. But I'm going to put them... Um, not straight up i'm gonna put them sideways so they could just spike everywhere but i gotta make sure that rock is not gonna get knocked over once um the corals grow you know because they're gonna be heavy so i gotta make sure i anchor that rock really good so i got a mess yeah it's time to color my hair tomorrow Yeah, your boy gotta look young, you know? 
<laughs> no, I got too, too many white hairs. They got to go. Not yet. Not yet. We're not 40 yet. No offense to nobody that is 40, you know. I'm only 39. <laughs> so, yeah. So now, everything in there is, is done. All I got to do is just feed the tank, but I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to put this because the fish are a little bit of cider right now. I don't want nobody to jump. And then I got to go in the back back to get them because usually that's where they go. When a fish jump out of the tank, always go to the spot that you can reach. But yeah, guys, so thing, things are doing good. Look at the crap now. Now you guys can see the shell. So things are doing pretty, pretty, pretty good. So can't complain. I got to check alkalinity too. I didn't check alkalinity. I should have checked that before. Water changes, but I'm pretty sure it's in range. So I ain't going to stress that I do it in a little bit once I know the water flow through all the whole tank. So this is how this... Stylo was doing after being fragged last on stream or the stream before or the stream before before and the stream stream before before 8.2. Oh, you call it numbers. All right, let's do it. Think it's 8.2. I'm gonna do two, two tests. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna, I gotta put you guys back in the tripod for that. So 8.2, Mr. DKH. I got the food ready. I gotta put a little bit of refroids. That's all. So I got this ready. Got the bottle ready. Let me grab the, the cap. Cap and the pipette. Oh. And let me get some water. Calling numbers, calling numbers. Mr. DK say 8.2. I'm gonna say 8.4. Who else? Who else? Call your numbers now. Call your numbers. 8.2 straight reef for 8.4. Yeah, 8.4. That's what it is. 8.3. Angel Aviles. What's going on, brother? 8.3, my boy, Angel Aviles. All right, let's see who's going to hit it. All right, let's clear that out. Boom. Let's throw that in. Hit it again. Let me get my reagent. For today, you know. All right. Who else is gonna call a number? Skinner JW, what's up? Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, 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 it's all love, man. You put love into this hobby and you see amazing things happen. All right, any, anybody else? Oh, 8.0, Chai Town. 8.0, I think Chai Town is going to hit the spot. <laughs> all right. Let's see. I'm not even going to see it. Anybody want to participate? What's my calamity? 8.4, 8.3, 8.2. I say 8.42, 8.0. And it's da 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 da. Holy shit. 9.0. Holy cow. That's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Look, 9.0 on the dot. MBRSA, that's the right number. Ah.
That's perfect. That's exactly where I want it. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, but I knew it was going to go high because I, I did. Um, last time I checked, it was 7.7. .7. And I usually run at 8.5, 8.5, well, 8, yeah, 8.5. So I didn't test yesterday. And, and like I said, last time it was 7.7. .7, so I didn't test yesterday. So I said, you know what? Let me dump 20 mils. So, you know, so bigger body of water better than the bucket i did that to the bucket and i brought that thing poof, sky high 9.6 mr dk yeah, not bad not bad so i i did 20 mils yesterday and earlier today i did another 20 mils so it went from 7.7 .7 on wednesday and today is saturday yeah good enough I mean, like I say, is it just sometimes this tank drain alkalinity like crazy. It could be 8.3 and then it goes down to 7.7, 7.6 7 from one night to the other. So, but it's proved that things are growing. I mean, my boy noticed this one, that DG, you can see the growth. It don't look no more like a hand, like it used to look before. This one's like the body on this digits here is really thick. Uh, I've been doing water changes on every Saturday, five gallons. You seen the blue bucket, Red Sea blue bucket. Um, and cult water is what I usually use. Now, if if the cult water is not keeping up with it, because I use it in my ATO, then I will dose a little bit of alkalinity to keep it in check if I need to. But lately I've been trying to up my cold water solution so it'd be a little bit more potent. So that way I don't have to dose. But man, these corals, I can keep up with them. So before I used to put three scoops, I mean three teaspoons of cold water on five gallons. It's not the recommended one they, they say to do because they, they recommend you to do one teaspoon per gallon so you could do a drip. I'm um, dosing to the tank, but I like to put it in my ATO. Um, so my my our water is there, so it's mixed with cold water already. So that's what be. Um, but since I know the reason why alkalinity is dropping now, since we don't get that much evaporation now because of the weather or the temperature now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump it up a little more. So last time I think I did four. So now I'm gonna do the recommended one and I'm still gonna put it in the ATO. And let's see, let's see what happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like ever since I use cold water, man, like I haven't had Thank God, and knock on wood. I haven't had no accident with it, even though, um, my like I said, my hour water the other day dumped twice inside the tank because I had a filter floss in here, so it got clogged, and the water keep going down. And nothing happened. To, only went from 8.2 to 8.4. Those two times, and that's about two gallons and a half or two gallons. So it didn't, it didn't do nothing. So... I mean, just, you know, as long as you go easy with the cold water, I don't think you will have problems. But some people like the the those, the solution really potent so they don't have to deal with, with dosing and all that. Um, I've been going slow with it. I see what, what the corals are asking for and how much they're taking. And then I keep, you know, putting more cold water in my solution. So, I mean, I got a doser, but I, I'd rather do it through the ATO. It's less work, you know, less equipment in the tank, even though I already got a mess in here, cables everywhere and all that. 
but I'm just trying to find that easy way for me to do it, even though if I can keep up with the cut water, because I will never do six teaspoons to a five-gallon bucket, because that's going to be too much. Then I use I use the one teaspoon per gallon, and then if I need to dose by hand, I will do it by hand. And like I say, that dump twice, so it didn't do that much different to the alkalinity. It just went um, two points high, so I, I won't mind. If, if that happened again, that's why I removed the, um, the pad from there, so that way that don't happen again. But so far, so good, man. Like, everything you see in this tank is running with cut water. And never being a fan of two part dosing or doing it yourself or using a, a dosing pump. I always been using cut water and ever since I started, you know, I've been having success with it. So and the water changes, I wasn't a fan of it. And ever since I started with this setup, how I got it now, then I started doing uh the five gallons every every Saturday. So it's working man, it's working on seeing growth. Corals are looking better. Coloration are better. I do want to try all the salts. I want to try the, um, what is it? The uh, uh, Aqua Forest. I want to try that one. I've always been interested in that one. Um, is is other ones, but the two little fishies also. They're expensive, man. It just salt. You know, but since it's made for aquarium, salt water especially, you know, they sell it really expensive. Anything that has a tag that is for salt water is more expensive. Like the other day, I bought on um, Amazon my RODI replacements. And nothing says salt water except for drinking water, of course. Oh, my Orphus went off. And all I paid for the whole thing uh, was like $35 in total. So it brought me the the main brain, the sediment filter, the carbon filter, all of those just for $35. But if anything has the tack of salt water in it, forget it. Only only the, the main brain will cost you like $70, $50, $70. Nope, I ain't doing that. Yeah, man, I heard good things about Tropic Mary, too, so I could try that one, too. But for now, I want to see how far what I was changing, because I always be, I, I started using Resi ever since, well, not ever since I started Saltwater, because we all start with the one from Petco, um, Rift Crystal, or, or, or the other one, and that one do good. But, you know, once you start getting to, or understanding more of the hobby and what you need or whatnot, so you start using different salt. So I always use Red Sea for the most part. I only bought Fritz once, the Red Box. I didn't see good results for my taste. So I wanna try the Blue Box and see the difference, if I can see any difference. Same thing with the Red Sea. The, the Red Sea buckets, I tried the blue and the black one. And I like the blue one better. I want to try also, in, 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 like I say, in no time soon, but in the future, um, Aqua Vitro sal Salinity, something like that. Is it Aqua Vitro? I think so, yeah. So I want to try that one. Oh man, these people are selling salt like they're selling Coke. It's too expensive. Yeah, man, Resi, I like it, man. I, I like it. When I mix it, it just mix right. You don't have to wait too long to use it. Yeah, yeah, the 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 black bucket, the thing is, is the alkalinity is too high. I think it's the black bucket. It's about 11 to 12. So back then, I used to run my tank super high and all the all the uh, parameters but now i'm trying to keep that balance around eight nine you know but if it fluctuates i like to go from from nine to eight point five or go go to nine point five nah not go from nine to eight like like it's doing 
I'm trying to find that balance where it just stays between five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, that's what I'm, look, I've been in the hobby for like 18 years. And now that is that I'm understanding since I'm paying more attention to details now, like salt, what they bring inside and all that crap. So depend the uh, like salinity you're working on, that's the alkalinity you're going to get on. So if I run mine, I was I, I, I used to run it at 1.025. So when you miss it to that ratio... The calinity is going to be at seven, exactly like what the bucket says. And that was crazy. I said, oh, bling. It just bright my head, my, my brain. <laughs> you know, I said, okay, so if I run 1.026, which it says is here, let me see if I'm right. No, well, it's supposed to mix at eight. No, no, seven right there. So 30, and then 33, 7.5, and then 35, which I think that's, right? That's 1.026 or 27. I'm not sure. But I was mixing it like that, so that way, so basically mixing it for marine fish, that way if I need to add alkalinity myself, then I do it myself, and I, and I put it close to my, to my tank. So when I do a water change, there's not that much changes in it. Carlos. So, but yeah, that, that this is something that I'm learning now. I always see the numbers. I just don't pay attention to them. You know, because cause this hobby, some people make it too complicated, man. When, when you start, like, chasing numbers and all this stuff, man, you will go crazy. You will go crazy like every other reefer, you know, and, and nah, you're just going to go crazy. That's why I like it simple, nice and simple. Cut water is working. That's what we're doing. Cut water. Those things, you got to know. Eh, no, 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 no. You got to know how much. No, and then that, no, 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 no. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good in that in that part. Man, I don't know if I get out to turn on my Orphic, because I still got to feed the... Well, you know what? Let's leave it like that. I wait till nighttime when all the polyps are out, and then I feed the corals. Yeah, so, like I say, I mean... I'm doing those five gallon water changes every week just to see what difference I see in the corals and the growth and the coloration and all that. And I'm seeing a lot of difference, man. A lot of difference. Every week you see they're in the zoos, new heads. Um, they're more open, more happy. I only test alkalinity. Like, that's what I show you guys all the time, you know. Since I always do the same... I try not to stress myself, right? When I miss my, my salt, I don't check if if it's 1.026, 1.025. I don't pay attention to stuff like that. As long as you grab the same amount all the time, you will have the same number. You know? Because sometimes the, the, the refractometer, they're not even accurate. So as long as you do how much they say you got to do so you can have this much of salinity, bam. You're going to hit the spot. So I always do the same amount. Two, either either when I was doing the, the 7 DKH, I was just using two cups of salt. And I, I, I get 1.025. Now I did today two and a half. So I think I think that's why I got the, the 9 DKH. And salinity, I, I I could see it when I was putting it in the tank. I could see that little cloudiness, you know, the, the salinity is a little bit higher in the cup. So that's good. That's what I wanted. I wanted to bring salinity just a bit higher. 
Just a bit, not by much. But, but yeah, so, you know, like I said earlier, minor changes I did to the thing. Moved those corals over here, the Ghanis. Um, I added that little piece of rock there. I wasn't liking the way that emptiness now, the, since I don't have that coral there. I'm trying to open a little more space, so I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to place the source. What I'm going to do with all those beauties. But we'll see. This is getting, uh, you can see it's turning some color. So it's pulling something. It's polishing the water. Look at how clear that looks. Nice. But yeah, so I still got to figure out. Excuse me. What I'm going to do right here in this front because I do not like it. Yeah, look, things are growing. Look at that dragon soul. Has a new head, another little one growing back down there. Has another one the other side. The Zoas, when I got them, it was like four. Now it's like seven or eight. Like got stopper, huge heads. It's a little bit of algae on that one. And I don't know why I got a yellow tank. He's not doing nothing. This one, it was two heads, now it's four, four or five, I think. The white zombies, that's one of my boys says they are. The one that I want to cut out of there, which got the more white on it, is that one that is closed right now. But I'm going to move that one out of there because I think it's something with this spot. The soil start dying or collecting algae in the, in the stem or however you call that. All right, so this is done. Let's put this away. So we'll see, you know, we'll see. I'm still learning, you know. Um, I, I've been in the game for a little bit, but I'm still learning a little bit. Learning stability. That's what I'm learning now. Learning more stability so things do better. And, and the results, they're coming through. Look, the Akans didn't like the water change. <laughs> they just deflated. I said, whoop, I don't like this. But, so, I learn as I go now. It's, it's too much to learn, you know. For stability, it's too much to learn. And to get growth and all that. You know, like, people got different ways or... or yeah, different ways or, or saying to you, oh, okay, you know, you do this, you're going to get more growth. You do this, the body of the core is going to get thicker. So, but then you see somebody else doing something different and, and beautiful corals. So who who you got to believe? Who you going to believe? You know, it's hard. It's hard. So that's why I try to keep it as simple as possible and see things grow. See things thrive, and so far, so good, man. So far, so good. The way I'm doing it is easy, simple. And then again, you know, I mean, all these rocks that you guys see here, they've been wet for a long time. You know, even though they look like new system all the time, and I'm always changing, making changes. It's rocks that they've been wet for a long time. It's nothing that I wet the other day. I mean, the newest one, yeah. You guys know this one that I put in the frag tank? That's new. The whole thing is new. And it already has some coralline algae growing on it. So, I think that's the newest, newest rock in there. But the rest, like all these arches, they come from all rock that I had. I just broke them in pieces. Um, yeah, I mean, this rock that has been established for a long, long time. And with this one, since I'm running this the tank, like like I'm paying attention to that stability. The difference that I see in this one is, you know, like no algae whatsoever ha has grown in the rocks. Like when I have the fragging style or the frag tank, I did get some algae a couple of times. But then again, it was a tank that was running with no filtration at all. 
you know. At one point, I added the algae scrubber, and that's when the, the rocks clear quick. But I didn't have no filter in there. All I had was a tiny nano skimmer, and that's about it. And and the filter cup, just with the poly pad in it, um, polishing the water. Susan, how you doing? Thank you for coming through. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> but yeah, so, so yeah, you know, like this tank, this rock, they've been wet for God knows how long, you know. I got them already from, from somebody, well, not from somebody else, but the guy that had these rocks, I guess he was getting out of the hobby. He brought them to the LFS and the LFS for live rock, he put them like way cheap. So I bought them all. Well, not all, but I bought the pieces that I liked the best and I don't regret it. And believe it or not, all this rock was full of Majano anemones. With my patience, one by one, I grab a syringe with vinegar in it and boop, poke each one of them and they all die. And I haven't seen one, but when I tell you covering my general anemones, if you guys seen those anemones spread in a tank, they just take over everything and nothing couldn't grow in, in these rocks because it was so many. So like I say, day by day, I do like 10 of them, boom, boom. So, cause I didn't want to tox in the water either, you know, then dying in the water. So one by one, boom, boom, boom. And I do got Aptasia. I do got Aptasia. It's one in there. It's another one right there. And I know it's another one. Where is the other one? I know I saw one more. But they always babies and I let them grow a little and then I poke them with the vinegar. And this is another one back there. I think that's it. Where they come from? From the algae in the sun. So that's the only place I used to have uh, Aptasia before. Some way, somehow, somebody. Oh, look at my barnacle blending. You guys hardly get to see him right next to the. That fish is kind of crazy. The way he moves and he act. Now you guys get to see him. That's a beautiful fish. Let me zoom in. Hopefully he don't look at that beauty. Oh, red eyes. Not the most peaceful fish I got in the tank. He looking for food. I know you hungry. Hold on. Give me one second. Don't go nowhere. Oh, he's about to. He's about to bounce. <laughs> in that fish, cure, like beautiful, beautiful. Look the way he looked. He got personality. That fish got personality. But one minute you see him, yeah, he's hungry because that's the only way he got out of the, the his his cave. But since I didn't feed the tank yesterday, let's see. All right, puppy, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. It's no branch tree. It's pellets. Okay. So get him. Pellets, get them. You want pellets? I guess not. You don't want pellets? You looking for brine shrimp? You want brine shrimp? Okay, I'll give you brine shrimp. Just because it's you. He don't want pellets. He's not even paying attention to the pellets. All the other fish are going crazy for the pellets, but not him. So, nope, I want my brine shrimp. So you guys give me a second. Let me grab a... And, but before anything, let me put this cover back because he could jump. That fish is, I call him lightning strike because he moved fast. But it's nice, it's nice to see him out. Yep, there you go. He's on the move. Yep, and he's gone. All right, let me go grab some brine shrimp just for him because he didn't even, he didn't even try. All right, hopefully you guys won't fall from here. Give me one sec. Microphone check, one sec, one sec. 
I need a little cup. We are back. So one thing I gotta do, I gotta clean my Calypso algae, algae, how you call this? Algae clips. I'm gonna put it there. I'm already done here. All I gotta do is dump that water. And tomorrow I will clean this nicely. Everything looks spotless. Yeah, because I sure have a mess in the floor. And I'm cleaning it right now. Because there's little rocks when I broke that piece of rock to throw in the tank. All right. You too, Susan. You too. Thank you for coming through, Mama. Appreciate you a lot. So if you guys don't have Susan, go to her channel, show some love. She got some beautiful freshwater tanks beautiful i think she has a website also you will enjoy her channel <laughs> give me one second guys let me move you guys a little bit closer all right let me see some brine shrimp because i know that little guy is hungry for him to be out like that Yep, that's what it was. He wanted a brine trim. Yo, he came right out. I'm gonna throw some more. Do you thought I feel bad? No, I feel bad. But I don't know. I fit. No, 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 no. Hold on. I did fit the tank earlier. I did. Excuse me. I did. Because I left some food from yesterday that I was supposed to feed the tank. But then I started watching a movie and I forgot to feed the tank. And, yep, it has some brine shrimp in it. Corals ate earlier too because it was some, the same mixture. Like, I, I prepared the food like I always do and I forgot to feed them yesterday. So, later when I got out of work and came home, I said, well, okay, I forgot. I totally forgot. All right, let me get you guys up and close. So yeah, guys, that's basically what I do to the tank most of the time. You know, I just clean all the detritus, get collected back there, and I blow the rocks. It's a little bit of reflection of the other tank. Um, if I need to, then like you guys saw, I brush the rocks with this. I blow them with the turkey baster or I brush them with this. Sometimes when, when I use the phytoplankton, that's when I start seeing those little tiny bubbles that, that gets attached to the rocks. And if you leave them there, those are signs it's going to grow algae and all that. So what I do is either I stop the phyto or stop the feeding for one day and let the nitrates and phosphates go down. And like today, I was brushing them and I didn't have nothing. I always look from the bottom up and that's, you know, the reflection of the light on the little bubbles. That's when you see them. 
Um, but yeah, that's basically what I do. So now I gotta clean the power heads because I say I I'm gonna do it monthly and in a month period already, since I cleaned them last time, they already got Coraline algae growing on them and I don't like that. I don't like that for the simple fact that for me, that's gonna end up, um, it's gonna end up weakening the power heads. So, and then they, they look ugly, man. They look ugly. I mean, even though I've been keeping the, the back, letting things grow on it, and hmm, I'm probably gonna leave it as it is, man. I just glue stuff on it and let them grow. If Coraline Audi wanna take over the overflow and all that, then let, let it be, you know? Let it be natural. Let it be natural and and that's it. We go from there with that. It's, it's nothing I could do, you know. That's nature. That's what the tank want to do. That's, that's what I'm trying to do with this tank. Let them do whatever they want. With my permission, of course. <laughs> but yeah, look at the color on that acro now, man. Like I say, I always wish you guys can see this in person or with the glasses. Not in person, but with the glasses. And talking about the glasses, where are they? Oh, they fell back here. So, that acro is looking really, really nice, man. Those red or purple polyps, they look beautiful, beautiful on them. This one, I'm probably gonna move it to a different spot and the Millie, I think, is what it is. That pink one with yellow on the bottom. So, because I want the light to, to get the whole thing. So, we'll see. We'll see the spot that we're going to put them. And a spot that probably is going to make it grow faster. Because it's a slow grower. Or unless it's, that's how it grows, you know. Really slow. Compared to this one. This one has taken over the whole space right there. The guard has a nice grow rate that I like. So that little frag that I got between those, or oh, that little tiny colony, I'm gonna get it out of there. Yes, I, I did have one. I did have a, a, a urchin, man, and I gave it away. And, and now thinking about it, I regret it because, well, the only reason why I gave it away, because since it's a new setup again, you know, it has frags and I don't want her to be carrying stuff around. But right now, what I got in the tank is nothing that she can carry around. I don't think, you know, man, she, she carry one of those tiles and she's a beast. But the good thing, you know, when they eat their carline algae is the carline algae will compete uh, for calcium with the corals, so that's my only concern right now. That's probably they consuming a lot of alkalinity. Um, it's a competition going in there because I started growing um, Caroline algae everywhere now. It's already growing in the bottom, so you see those little white dots. That's what it is. But we'll see, man, we'll see. If I got a dose calcium, then I dose calcium, but I'm gonna do it always by hand, I don't wanna We'll see, man. We'll see. You know, I can say never. I'm gonna use the doser. The doser I want to use it, yeah, for um, fuel, for aminos. That's what I want to use the doser for. Cause I don't mind. I mean, if I do it, I'm gonna do it in a container like this. So if the whole thing wanna go in there, I don't mind. Hello, reef cube. So I don't mind aminos in the water. You know. Corals will consume it, the skimmer will take it out, and anything, everything gonna benefit from it. So, I don't think you could, you could overdose your tank with aminos. I mean, cause the resty one, that, that joint is potent. Uh, that will put your water green, and for the amount they recommend, but also all the penthouse stock is your tank, you know? So, mine, you can say it's heavy stock, but not stock. You know, that they all small. 
So I don't know why they consume it so much, but I guess now is the part where they growing and that's why they, they just consuming a lot of calamity. Uh, I keep my power heads straight forward, and, but they close to the top, so they create a lot of commotion. I don't, I hardly use that weight, that weight mode. Um, it's an SPS tank, so you know, water just gonna go boom, then go down, and then go up, so. But I keep it most of the time straightforward. The random mo, I don't like it that much. But maybe that, mm -mm, you know, kind of thinking about it now. Maybe I could change that, and that will give me different results in the in the coral growth. Even though things are doing fine now too, so. Like that's what I'm doing now. Like I said, just trying different things that I didn't try before. Trying different things. The only coral that I think is gonna be MIA one day is the Setosa right there. That Setosa somehow don't wanna live. I cut the piece in the middle right there where it splits. It's a whole piece, but I cleaned the die off that I had the other day and it's doing it again. It's not happy. This one is part of that colony. And it's good, but that one don't want to live. So beautiful and don't want to live. Yes, you did miss the guessing game. It was nine today. It was nine DKH. So I was trying to I, I was trying to do eight point seven. That was my goal. Eight point seven, not go higher than there. But it is what it is. I'm probably gonna go tomorrow um, to my LFS over there to see if they got more, 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 more oyster fees. He said he was gonna get it last Wednesday, so. But this time I'm gonna call first before I go because I don't wanna take a trip and then he's not there. But yeah, yep, yep, things are doing great, things are growing good. But yeah, so here now we gotta wait. I, I, like every time we corals, they don't start doing good until the next day. So we'll see how that hammer is gonna open up in there. I put in a new plug and just glue it there. So I just want that to create, like, a you know. Like a bonsai look there, just like this one. And we'll see tomorrow how things are. I'll probably do a little short clip and put it on Instagram. If they open really nice, or once they do open really nice, then I, I do that. What the heck is that? Let me see, let me put on my glasses. I just saw something I've never seen before. But what it is, I don't know. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I'm just looking under that meteor shower. There's some spikes under there that I don't know what it is. Is it part of the meteor shower? What the heck is that? Wow. I think it is part of the meteor shower but wow that's that's different all right let me show you guys what i'm looking at if you guys look at that meteor shower you see those little spikes maybe not you guys not gonna probably gonna see it all blurry but oh this hammer creates so much um reflection but anyway those spikes in the bottom it look like it's part of that meteor shower Eh, too many together? Nah, I never seen too many together like that. Like if you look, the polyps, you know, the it, it look kind of the same with the polyp, but out of each polyp, let me see. 
You know what? I need to change that in there. But I don't got no flashlight. Oh, yes, I do. My drill has a flashlight. Let's see if it can reach. Hold on. Let me take the tip off. I don't want to break the glass. That'll, the, that'll be the last thing. Are they Bermuda snails? Um, hmm. Hard to tell. Nah, I don't think it's Bermuda snails. Because I got bumblebees in here and they be they be on the hunt those bumblebees they don't play i did have bermuda snails before and they tackle all of them and i got them here i got them in the sump i got them in this tank also i gotta get more for this for the 40 i definitely gotta get more and i i i saw them i think last week in my other lfs they had a bunch but man, they want two fifty for each Bermuda snail. I like them one day a dollar. What a cheap ad reefer, right? But the thing is, right, the way it looks, it looks like it's part of the meter shower. I understand the part where you say it looks like um, Bermuda snails, but this one. You know, Bermuda snail, when they pull that little string out of their barrel or whatever, it's a long string. Kind of like what you see in, the, in this um, hammer right now. And that one, it's like hairs coming out of each. Like it's part of the coral, like stingers. That's what they look like, little stingers. Matter of fact, they look like little antennas because they doubles. Huh. I wonder if Meteor Chowery got um, um, stingers. That's an interesting thing to look for. Yo, because they look just like stingers. Uh, yeah, they look like little hairs. You see, but they don't look like Bermuda snails. They don't look alive. Well, they are alive, right? Wow. And the thing is, they they a colony. It's not like they separate like Bermuda snail. They a colony. It's a whole piece. That's a new thing. I never seen that in my tank. Now, later tonight, I'm gonna shine with the flashlight and see what I can see in there. There is a bunch. It's a bunch of things in there. All right, guys. So. Yeah, the time has come. I'm gonna shut it down. I try to do the two hour light reef girl, but it's a long time to be live, which I don't mind, but I gotta take a shower and go to sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Gotta eat something, I'm hungry again. So, I appreciate every one of you guys came through today just to watch me doing a water change. So I appreciate you guys a lot. That way I didn't do it by myself. Like I usually do, and that way you guys see what I do to my tanks, man. A lot of people, a lot of people, you know, like, like, like I say, is the simple way of reefing, man. I try to keep it as simple as possible, so easy for all the people. If they want to follow, they don't have to. They can go, you know, do things how they like. But if you haven't tried cold water, I highly recommend it. Just start slow or let me know. I can guide you through it. You know, I learn on my own, you know. 
I just learned on my own. I didn't watch no video. I, I heard about it. And I saw a couple of videos about results that you can get with it. But I didn't see how people mix it and how they do all that. I, I learned about all that after I started using it. And so far, it's the best thing I ever tried to use in my tank. I don't chase numbers. I only test alkalinity. I make sure my RO system is always full. So that way, whenever the tank makes water, it's right there. I keep my equipment clean so it can function at 100%. Light schedule from 11.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night. And everything the same every day. I repeat the same thing every day. The same amount of food. Um, same routines. Blow the rocks. Get the detritus out. I know it's a little bit too much. That and that and that aspect. I can wait a week and just do a, a nice one. But like I say, right now I'm just trying to find the balance in everything. So tomorrow, I will clean the power heads, get them nice and clean, because it's about that time, and check my heaters, make sure my heaters are working. If not, next week, since I work overtime this week, next week, then I, I will order my my new heater. So I don't know still. I said I might get a Phoenix heater. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. So... All right, guys. So thank you, thank you so much, Rescue Skinner, um, Mr. DKA, Stray Reefer, Benny, Chimp, Susan. Uh, I know it's a lot of more people. Carlos, Chai Town. Let me see, Angel. Yeah, thank you for coming through, T40, Rainer. Thank you for coming through and, and being with me in the live stream. All right, guys. So I see you guys in the next one. Hasta la próxima. Your boy Kalisa's out. See you guys.